destroy that destroy that before it steals another body so we'll just we'll just uh take that body yeah we'll just take pretend that like the body is gone and it's just a worm like creature um, along the ground <laughs> You know you guys are going to be in trouble for, like, des desecrating the dead. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome. Undead is undead. Alright, um, then it's the demons. Or de well, demons or whatever. Oh, uh, actually, the dog gets to go, doesn't it? Yep. Yeah, the dog gets to move. Yep. Dog, you can get to move uh, somewhere over his arm. Can you, pull, can you pull your dog away? Yep. These these hairy, come, come at me. fuzzy, um, but also a little bit slimy, stupid-faced looking demons um, begin to follow. Looks like one gets a charge attack off if it wants. Yeah, this one's gonna go launching at you. <laughs> His claws outstretch it. It's fine. AC twenty two. That hits five damage from a claw. Five damage. Oh okay. look how tanky the little guy is. Oh my god. <laughs> That's paladins for you. Um, this one comes over here and uh, is going to belch out his stinking cloud. Blech. Give me a fourth save. <coughs> the doggy okay. doop. Yeah, doggy I know. Doggy. Okay, so for my fourth save, a rotten rock, rotten egg, and rotten cabbage smell just goes everywhere. 24, I'm okay. The dog. Uh, Kruger, what's your save? Be short. Push a dog. Uh, Somebody want to control a Rixies in combat? Uh, John, you want me? I'll do that. Okay. Get him! Sorry, I don't have his the dog saves. Uh, there's a, there's a more dog there to the dog. They're usually uh, fortitude and reflex good. Well, bad. Oh, there we go. Uh, thank you. So the we're bad, we're bad. Save. Where right, is the, your fucking the, the save? The two demons just just launch themselves at Erixes. Um AC ten and AC not twenty. That's definitely a hit. For okay. AC twenty two to confirm. That would confirm. A forty eight on the chart. So he's just gonna be dead before uh, we even get to meet him. What's, huh? what's the <laughs> AC? Right. Uh, what's the DC of the, point of the cloud? It, it's Marty? thirteen. Uh, he missed. Okay, so the dog is well. now nauseated. It can only take a move and no attacks. It's fine. I'll give it a green okay. halo. It's pukey dog. Yep. So the thing attacked me and, and it caused the then gas. the stream died. Is what we're getting told. Did it? Uh, yep. I have it. It says offline for me. Weird. Rip. Uh, <laughs> it's offline. It's offline. Uh, I'm getting zero drop frames. Wait, now it's doing oh. something. Oh, now it's doing. It's loading again. Uh, 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 it's loading. Humana, 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 humana. Oh, it's back up. Okay. Okay, so what happened to uh, to your? Oh yeah, season? forty-eight. Yeah, I'm I'm opening the. Uh, I'm opening the. What's the nauseated one? Critical chart with glee. What color's nauseated, Adam? Green. Oh, you heard. One d four to a random nope. ability score. Oh, okay. <coughs> Con. Yay! Shit. I mean, That's shitty! One con damage. Uh, <laughs> along Real. with. Uh, That's not the worst. No. Double damage, double damage. Double damage. Double damage. Like, five, ten damage. Papa wants ten. 2d4 plus two. No, no, Eight even. damage. There we go. Okay. It's eleven damage with the con loss. Yeah, basically. 
Yeah, these these little uh, halfling sized demons with with big paunches have have uh, sharp claws and teeth. Um, Motherfucking demons. What does uh, like uh, the tentacle man do? The tentacle thing is going to um, move towards um, the paladin that ruined it. Go into the another bee hole. The bee hole. Um. <laughs> That's what the squishy sound was. <laughs> it's going to. Um, it. How fast starts, does it move? It starts gibbering to itself. I can't see anything. I can't see it. Creature. It slithers oh. underneath the the wagon. Um. Trying to avoid Rixies, and does so. And then slithers up the wall. No, actually, you can only get to here. Uh, it cast a spell and then move to here. Oh, wait, the donkeys don't let them just go by. Yeah, it's going to move to here. You can see it starting to climb the wall. Little tiny fibers along the uh, along the um, along the. Um, worm-like creature that seems Ew. to like to inhabit bodies. <laughs> of course, the, the, the mess of the uh, <laughs> the mess of the uh, the dead priest body ah. is right here. Okay. All right, um, Paladin. Uh, Elden Burrows. You dog is you did going not to expect move? to be. Uh, you did not expect to be face to face with evil so soon. You should always start to be face to face with you. Dog's True. going to move here. Okay, withdraw is a move action, I believe you can do. Yes. No. The dog is. That ails. It's a standard That's fine. Or a move, right? You no, know, it's a standard. It's a it's a move, sorry. He he can only move withdraw is a standard. Or full round yeah, action. So full round action so we can move he, up to double speed. So, so I'm getting an AO. You're both you getting can one. Take a withdraw if you're only able to take a standard action. Yeah, you only move up to your... It's wow. like a charge for so running no, away. So the dog is puking up its guts, and it kind of puts its head down, its butt up, uh, as it's trying to, like, like get rid of its uh, lunch, uh, and it will take its AOO against sure. the dog. Cause it's Coochie! Because it's oh, stupid. The... Okay. AC 21? Uh, I think that I'm pretty sure that hits the dog. <coughs> Do you have mounted combat? <laughs> Um, no, I do not. Can the dredge see through the fog? Is there a mischance? Give me a second. I thought you mischance, do have mischance. Combat. I don't think so. You may want to look at your background feeds. No. Mount. You have. Uh... No, there are no mounted combat. Two. Okay, so uh, it strikes the dog, and I will look to see if there's a mischance. Uh, three damage on the dog. No, that's not so bad. Stinky cloud. Acts as cloud spell. Hate you. Why do you reference yourself? Um, <laughs> yeah, no. Twenty percent mischance. Within five feet. Okay. Yep. Yep. It hit. Okay, that's fine. It's licking its fingers and and uh, enjoying the dog blood that is on the end of it. Who um, wouldn't? I'm doing the same thing, attacking the creature. Oh, now so my bonus your fingers dropped. And enjoying the dog blood. <laughs> so, so my bonus, my bonus for smite evil oh, against the creature. Oh, we forgot Erixes. Erixes gets to go before you. Yeah, he does. Oh, yeah. okay. Stop yeah, well, he's, smash. He's, got go. His, he's got his great axe in his hand. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, power attack. Just got great axe. And uh, he then... just got critted by a thing. Yep. Yeah, I'm gonna smash whatever that thing is. Um. Looks like plus eight to smash something, and uh, with uh, masterwork, great axe. He's plus nine. Does with he have? Attack, he's plus eight. Does he have mythic? No. Oh. Oh, all right. None of you guys are mythic yet. Gotcha. Uh, is he wearing his buckler? AC twenty-seven. Yes. Good boy. So, AC 26. Yep. I'm reading this right. 
I assume that was calculated yeah, the, already. Yeah, the but... axe comes hammering down into the, uh, into the thing's head. It seems to be what's missing the, the uh, great axe What's the crit range? Oh, okay. okay. It's an axe is 20. Oh, 20 times 3. Okay. Yeah, 20 times 3. Um, looks like 1d12 plus... 12. 12 damage? Yeah. 1d owl 24 owl. damage! Damn! Oh. Good, good boy. Okay, this thing has 5 dr so 19, you actually incapacitate it. With a single blow from uh, my summon, axe. Summon creatures when they're incapacitated just poof. disappear. Around, or they yeah. disappear? Well, they poof. I think it's, they poof when they hit zero, I think. Okay. Yeah. This one disappears into a foul-smelling uh, smoke. Yeah. Uh, does the Rixies understand Abyssal? I don't think so. I don't think he's smart enough. Okay, this one's making little gyrating motions that you don't quite like. Um. <laughs> uh, demons. Uh, it's been a while. <laughs> Not long enough. All right, so now Elden rides his sick dog out of the out of the stinking cloud and attack uh, the uh, the demon. Yep. Um, now my bonus to damage drops. Correct. It's not the full plus six. It's only plus it's three. It's no plus three. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. So. How uh, dunk this? D. Okay. Give 20. everybody a necklace of uh, adaptation mm -hmm. tattoos. Twenty. What's your AC? Twenty-four. Does he take a penalty for moving on a mount? Uh, uh, if it's uh, a single move and a single attack, I th I don't. Here. Uh, wait. No. Um. Can I take my move to steady? Now, yeah. So I use my move. And yeah, my your move attack. action can be used to study. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <coughs> here, let me just quickly check. Uh, mounted mounted right combat. Combat. Blah 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 blah. Spells. Blah blah blah. Mounted archery. Uh, it's worth looking up for the first. Uh, ranged. Yeah. God. Dang it. Uh, no, you only take penalties when it takes a double move. If you take a single move, it doesn't. Yeah. It's under mounted arch archery feet. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, you 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 your dog only takes a move out. Does AC twenty four hit? AC twenty four does hit. You, you hit it with a uh, <laughs> a smiting um, cold iron bullet. Now, do I know that that once I'm smiting, my bullets bypass damage reduction? Uh, you have a. A vague concept of that, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I start. I start using my regular bullets. Oh, do you have some sort of weird halfling range smite? What? No. Regular smite. I'm pretty sure smite is melee only. Are you kidding? Mm. Well, that was weird. <laughs> Let's see. That would, that would make things weird. It's attack rolls. Blah blah blah. I don't think there's anything in there that makes it melee. Oh really? Okay, I must maybe I'm thinking of a different ability. It might be your uh, lay on hands is melee. Nope. To her, her attack melee rolls rolls and adds her paladin. Yeah. Okay, you scared us for a second because the build would have been broken. <laughs> shitty. <laughs> <laughs> right. Speaking of shitty characters. <laughs> okay, so yeah, your your smite works. Um, One, you six, have you do have a concept nine. that when you smite, you don't may not want to use your best bullets. Fifteen. It's just cowardly for the barcher, or the pallet nurture. <laughs> Stay in the back. <laughs> the 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 pallacher, pallacher. Okay. Uh, the, Fifteen the, damage. The thing is screaming both in your mind and making this high pitched whining noise outside. You're gonna get it. It says in your mind. You're gonna get it. Um, charge it! Charge it! Charge it, horseman! And it sends you a flash of an image of. Of you looking in a mirror and your your flesh covered in worms, like kind of like a like an apple, like a cartoon apple, like with worms kind of like burrowing all through it, and all the worms look like its its head. It's telling you it's going to breed inside you. Oh, good. Only if you get to live. <laughs> all right. So uh, the donkeys are going crazy. These little things are following you. So this thing's going to charge. Um, this thing is going to continue doing what it was told to do, which has to double move around the donkeys. 
Um, okay, so one of them charges. Okay. Stumbling out of the out of the out of the stinking cloud, um, claws and teeth outstretched, and latches a hold of uh, your dog. Oh, it's stacking my dog. Yep. <laughs> Four damage. Damn it. Uh, let me check the AC of my dog. AC seventeen. Yeah. All right. Fine. It's licking its fingers, and the other one comes running over. Uh, Four damage. This little guy is going to do his full round attack on the uh, on the centaur. Clock a lot bite. AC 12, 16, and 15. Uh, you needed 20, I believe? Yeah, no. Okay, so it was trying to like climb on your hindquarters, which was weird. Uh, and then this thing, shit. this thing goes straight up the wall, and then it's going to cast Mass Inflict Light Wounds. Holy banana okay. balls! Something. Uh, can can he? Oh, we can, Oh, I. Oh, there. Oh. Oh. How much damage is that? Do they have to be within thirty feet? Because because they're not. Oh shit. <laughs> Yeah, five feet apart. <laughs> okay, so bad luck for it. It's gonna get Elden. It's gonna get Kruger, and it's gonna get the two donkeys because it's just a miserable git. Um, I'm gonna roll saves for the donkeys. Sure. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Way to help out, Adam. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I got this bad eyes. So see, see what you do. <laughs> It's so weird. It's like a third level caster, yet it gets this mass spell. So, uh, so broken. Um, it does Demons. eleven damage to everyone in that group. Oh, that's not good. We'll save DC sixteen. Uh, one donkey uh, made it. We'll save. Stubborn huh? mule. <laughs> we'll save DC sixteen. You say I'm going to do the dog first because the dog is going to be casting out, maybe dead. <laughs> Donkeys have 13 hit points. 13! It made it! The dog made it. Uh, and for me, I am going to roll. I should be okay. Well, I don't know if I can fail this. Do you want to roll one? No, it's plus 10. I can fail this. No, I don't. We are good. Okay. Um... So you both take instead of level five damage. Okay, hold on. I will add that to Kruger. Uh, one of the kids fell. Hold on a sec. Did it fall into the pit of doom? I, I'm gonna check. I'm gonna check his dog at twelve hit points. I don't know if his dog is still up. He's got a war dog. Thirteen hit points. It's still up. <laughs> it's not doing too well. It's puking on the ground, and uh, I think that brings us to Arixie's, John. Okay. Um, I think he's just gonna keep wailing on things. That worked out pretty well. So I'll sure. have him take a five foot step this way, and he'll make another attack on that guy. Um, uh, power attacking natural twenty. Uh, demons can be critted. So roll to confirm. Boom. Mm. Uh, AC20 probably confirms. Uh, that confirms the crit. Come on, times okay. four crit. Set so the bar 88. high. 88 four on crit. the crit chart. Please tell me he's going after the main guy. No, he's just whacking a thing. <sighs> it's an amazing critical. Doing? So, so it is a plus four, four crit. Plus a D4 to a random ability score. Yeah, well, let's just do the damage first. 4D4 <laughs> four four plus... 4012? 48. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. So 79 damage, he's gone. 40, 12, 40, yeah. <sighs> all, the, all that's left is this stinky cloud and kind of a spray that then, that then slowly disappears. Um, Go for the main demon! What are you doing? Wait. What are you doing? Go, Go for the main demon! I thought you were the demon hunter. Why don't you do it? Rixie's attitude. <laughs> I remember that character. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> All right, bullets. Um, 
yeah, there was there was a bit character uh, from previous campaign where like no no very this, this first character are... that my very first character got in a fight with oh, in a right, burning right. building right right <laughs> <laughs> like this this character deserves some prime time um um all right hey, this is a masterwork staff I should be getting a bonus yeah plus one <laughs> um, Elden and the very injured and sick Kruger Kruger's only sick for f uh, he's fine now. He left the cloud. Okay, I'm he's going still very to... injured. He's still very injured, though. I know. Um, I have to heal him, so I have Go to do a lay on. Demon. Go for the main demon! I have to do a... <laughs> <laughs> so actually, Kruger's going to withdraw. Is Can he get to the alcove? He's going to withdraw. He's gonna go like this, five, yeah. and then so he's gonna go. The AO's on Elden. That's fine. Then he's gonna go. Oops. AC seventeen and AC sixteen. No. He's gonna do like that. And can I take a shot while he's moving? If he moves double his speed, you're at a minus. He's withdrawing. I don't know if that. It, how far do you go? Yeah. He's only moving forty feet. Okay. okay. So, so you actually, don't, I'm you're gonna no longer in point blank. Um, they can't see me if I'm over here, right? Because right. of smoke. Right. Then I'm gonna take my shot. At what? They you can't, can't see, see you. you can yeah, see but him. I can see the demon. Yeah, he's up on the wall. Yeah, he's, he's climbing oh, yeah. on the wall. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm shooting him. Okay, he's, trying to, get, he's move trying to get out of reach. He's he's just like somehow. I'm using his way I'm using my move action. So to, plus to ready 19. Your, to ready your your bolt your bullet and you. Uh, yep. Thirty one. Yeah, you strike the thing in the side. <laughs> It's making this okay. horrible noise and <laughs> sprouting shit out of its weird wormy butt. Nice. <sighs> Ten damage. Uh, bypassing damage reduction? Because yeah, yeah. still... Yeah. Okay. It, it's really injured. It's making this horrible noise. How high is it? Uh, it's about 20 feet off the ground at this point. And the... Can Eryxes hit him? No, nope, unless him? he jumps. Yeah, mule. He he doesn't have. He's, he's a bow. He, he's he's like he's a mounted knight. Just think of it that right. way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, he can attack around him, and then he he does have a bow with a lance. He might be able to jump, uh, but it's the demon's turn. Yeah. No charge. No, they're not charging. They're just going to come and attack you. Uh, actually, one attacks your dog. So the first one attacking your dog, AC twenty. <sighs> Fucking hell. Five damage, which knocks the dog out. Dog's out. And then the ride one check. A ride check. Okay, doesn't that happen simultaneous? They don't have synchronized initiative. A a AC eight, so no, it's it's fine. But you still need your ride check. Ride check. Okay. Check. Twenty plus eight. 26. Okay, you're fine. Choose which square you fall in. Could be the one with your dog. It could be around him. Boop. Over there. Alright. Uh, and then the demon can do his mass inflict light wounds three times per day. So he's going to climb another... Oh, shit. Trying to get away. Along the wall. He's on the corner. But he's he's twenty feet up. Yeah, he's twenty five feet up, worming along the wall. Yeah. Ruiner. Okay, so he can't get me yet. Luada. Ten damage to you and your dog. Give me How how is he reaching me? It's it's range thirty spell. feet. Thirty feet. It's oh it's spell. a range spell. It's a range yeah, spell yeah. and you have to be within thirty feet. He can't get a Rixies end you. 
Um, you can't okay. actually get the donkeys this time. How, mu how much damage, sorry? Uh, ten. Ten. We'll save for half. Okay, so dog. Get, go Pooch! Tails, dog's <laughs> dead. Uh, Poochie. Uh, Poochie might not be dead, but he's dead-ish. Uh, I don't make it either. I failed. Yes! Yes! They'll okay, trust now, a paladin! Now, now that uh, these Dog's uh, basically dead. demons have been around for three rounds, are they still here? Um... Summons. Oh no! There, it's a, it's this demon summon. Oh, they're here for an hour. Shit. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. My turn. Uh, no, oh no! It's, it's, a, a, it's a Rixie's. Do something, you. <laughs> <laughs> Commence with the getting him. Hey, John. John. Um, I guess I'll just have him charge this guy. This thing cloud is twenty-five. Gone, twenty twenty-five. The cloud's gone. The cloud goes away. Yep. And he's, uh, he's in the air, right? He is 25 feet up along the wall. I will jump! Or charge one of these things, that's why you're... Oh, oh, really? Attack the main one, attack the main one, and now I do it, you know, okay, so you need, you need, you need, to, you need a, <laughs> to cross a 10 foot uh, height, basically. You need to jump 10 foot feet height. Only with a lance, it's a 5 foot height. Oh, is he? did he pull out his lance? I guess I could, as a move action, or as part of the charge. Yeah. Sure, let's do that, why not? Okay, so you drop, you plang, you drop your great axe, pull out your lance. I don't lance. have to drop it. I can just put it, in, I just hold it in one hand. I only oh, need right. one hand for the lance. Got it. Cool. Uh, Metal Tom. <laughs> Launch it through the air with the <laughs> <lance>. <laughs> um, Okay, I'm at plus 20, which means I auto make five a five foot jump. Um, I could roll if you really want me to. Just no, to that's see how... fine. You are you are from the plains of Targosia. You've done lots of jumping. I, I jump super fucking high. I'm awesome. I don't even. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we could I... take you to the equestrian. <laughs> Go and do that. Find somebody who wants to joust you. Who 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 could be out there who would wish to do that? Um, Lance. Some actually, we should know find a should cousin to joust. <laughs> uh, power attacking. Uh, now he doesn't um, have spear charge. So it's only times two, but just times two. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm sure you'll take that later. That's the smart move. Uh, um, so it's a and plus his 10. favorite enemy. Yeah, he does have favorite enemy <coughs> evil. I'd say. And then so plus twelve. Oh jeez. Uh, twenty-two. Nice. That's a hit. Yes. Okay, cool. Um, so two d eight plus twenty-four. I think it's twenty. No, it's more than that because it's. I wasn't calculating uh, the favorite, favorite enemy. enemy earlier. It's like actually 2D twenty. Eight. Yeah, twenty. Two D eight plus twenty eight. Yep. <laughs> uh, Thirty two points of damage. Oh, you skewer the thing. <laughs> Boom. And, and it just. And then the and then the horrible sound in your in your head stops, and it's just sort of wiggling on the end of your on uh, the end of the lance as, as you land. Clattering down here. Uh, and a strange thing happens. The, the the dretches that were reaching out towards the dog begin to just disappear into clouds of smoke as you smite the the uh, the worm demon and send the summon demons back from whence they came. I like uh, that. All that's going on right now is uh, is Kruger still alive or is he dead? Uh, uh, he he's twenty seven minus fourteen, and his con is just con. So he's he's alive. So yeah, I'm gonna lay on hands, son of a bitch. Okay, so you save yeah, you yeah. save Kruger. You, um, Arexes looks looks down at you uh, as as he notices that there's golden light coming out of your hand, as you whisper to Arverine, the defender, to um, to keep your dog from going to quite literally doggy heaven. Uh, <laughs> uh, we're gonna we're gonna have to get you. Warmer. There's there's noise there's noise in the chamber, uh, like the donkeys are all injured and making making pitiful sounds. Uh, but soon there is activity as soldiers and priests come rushing, and Eryxes is showing off the big the big worm thing on the end of the lance. <laughs> he he just goes right up to them and sort of thrusts it into their face. Uh, you may want to help him. <laughs> yeah, I will. Uh, I, I, is my dog ba is is uh, is Kruger back up? Oh yeah, yeah, Kruger. Well, how much does okay. he get healed? Uh, how many rounds do I have? A couple rounds. Before All right, Rixies. so I say 3d6. 
Okay, he gets 10 back. So 27, 17, he's still down. Okay. Is this why you uh, made us wait? No. Oh, oh, it's a... One of the priests says something. It's a vermlach -like demon. Guy, sorry, guys. I apologize, but I... I... <laughs> you, you're, you are muted this time, so... <laughs> it's good. It's good. All right. Um... We shall go to the Seldar house, maybe? Yeah. And we'll do an introduction for both. John and... <sighs> Come in here to turn over off your... my lawn. Come in here to turn <laughs> over your, uh, turn over your stupid little orphanage. Stinky human, <laughs> go away. <laughs> yes, human, we'll stick with that. Oh, uh, Almond's um, back. Okay. So why, don't we yes. wrap, why don't we wrap this up? Stinky human. So, um, Eryxes kind of throws it in their face that, you know, that they killed the thing. Um, uh, yeah. Gentlemen, this creature was hidden in the cots. It came and took one of the bodies. We've destroyed it. Lorixes and I. Yeah, it was in that body over there. And then it was in that one. <laughs> it almost um, there, is some, there is some general confusion. And um, apparently, apparently there's some priests that, that go um, up to the carts and look through some paperwork. And it seems like there were some inaccuracies in the paperwork, and the body should have been checked. Um, there may have been some confusion over how to handle this priest, these priest bodies properly. Um, and this thing, they're, they're, you're kind of getting the sense that you've uncovered um, like a major problem in perhaps their <laughs> their process. Their process, yes. Um, you seem... Who was on butthole duty? That person was <laughs> checking. Right. <laughs> not checking buttholes as, as much as he should have had. You're reassured that they're going to look into this. And um, um, you are delayed a little bit, but in a good way. Elden receives um, his Crusader's tunic. And all of his paperwork is in order as he previously passed training on his homeworld to become a crusader. Awesome. I'm putting that on my shoulder. Eryxes also receives his tunic. His paperwork turns out to be a ceremonial bronze spearhead with, with a strange scale and claw on it that one of the guards whispers is a bronze dragon trophy. They seem a little less... <sighs> Eryxes looks like he's proud of of the uh, of the trophy. The clerics take it like it's like like an abomination or anathema to to their way of thinking. When we say bronze dragon trophy, is it a trophy granted by a bronze dragon, or is it I killed a bronze dragon and here is my trophy? Uh, it looks like crucial bits of a of a bronze dragon's claw. <laughs> the second one. <laughs> <clears throat> um, you are brought to a chamber where basically, <clears throat> before one of the ardent order, um, and this smiling guy with silver hair, who you don't know who he is, but he's dressed in priest robes and he's just grinning at the two of you like a stupid, like a, like. Like a simpleton. Um, <laughs> um, Douche. You are asked to recite the Crusader's Oath. Okay. Where is it? Oh, you don't know where it is? You're in trouble now. Uh, under <laughs> campaign material, Crusader's Oath. And this I found on a um, obsidianportal.com 
they were apparently were also running the Wrath of the Righteous, and uh, okay, I found that. Um, uh, I'll read it out, and I guess, uh, I guess we both read it out. Oh, one by one. In turn. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Uh, I do so swear under the light, by the sword and scales of truth, and all the fires of heaven, to undertake this holy crusade. I pledge to God heart, spirit, body, and mind from the corruption of this wound upon the world. I furthermore promise and declare that I shall wage relentless war against the spawn of the pit and their manifold legions, as directed by those with charge of this crusade, and whenever opportunity it presents, to extirpate and annihilate their atrocities, atrocious race and any who serve them. Okay. You receive your um, your Crusader's tunic, but also um, because of your your valor in fighting a demon, which there are Crusaders out there that have never faced a demon, um, receive other awards as well. We'll just hope there's not another demon out there. <laughs> So I'll fight one tomorrow, not today. You receive a Valor's Blood Drop Badge. Okay. Which means um, that you have been injured in the line of service. Cool. And you've okay. received your Crusader's Tabard, upon which the Blood Drop Badge is affixed, which means you've completed your training. Okay. And um, a Blood... I pasted them in the chat. Perfect. Thank you. Blood drop badge. You've become a woman. No, he was injured in the line of service. <laughs> that too. Uh, Arixes also receives his. Uh, apparently he likes the idea of receiving uh, 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 proof of stuff. his uh, <laughs> proof of his of his deeds. And I will that on his he game. was indeed injured. Uh, I, uh, yeah, when we do have a second, in. when we do have a second, I go to him. I apologize. I was not speaking with you as a soldier would to another during that combat. You fight very well. He, he I have stood you? there beside you. Diplomacy check. Sure. You can add a plus one because you have a Crusader's Tabard and a Valor's Blood Drop Branch. <laughs> Sweetness. Okay. You can add additional plus two because you just finished fighting with him. And you're talking about fighting. Did I mention fighting? 31. You're small. <laughs> but, you have good, but you have good aim. <laughs> And magic, huh? What's this god you were mumbling to? It's god of the halflings. Huh. Avarin, the, the defender. God of small people. He nods like it makes sense. It's a god of protection, vigilance, duty, and war. He, he he seems like like he almost doesn't believe the last part then finally accepts it my god is a god of war as well the god of my people and to mm. him will go the tithes of war he snods this yep. Voros. If man folk were too weak to keep it from the demons, then we will claim part of it when we are done fighting their war for them. I'm just here to kill demons. You know, and I'm all out of bubblegum. All right, you've you've made a new friend. You you were like, hey, I've got a war god. All right, fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little war god. <laughs> no worries, a small small war god for small small people, 
the oh, gods boys. are God. Don't fuck with the gods. The war um, gods come. Like my God, Elden, you know our God. Bear the bear. war gods are watching. They shall have a good show. <laughs> he 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 seems to like that and kind of clips along towards the song gate. Yep. Smiling is that strange man that 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 just witnessed part of your ceremony. Silver hair and a goofy grin. I some I some for some reason want to detect evil on him, but. They'll probably not be taking well. <laughs> um, yeah, they they've got a choir a choir sitting outside the song gate, and they begin to sing, and eventually the gate opens. As symbols flare up, and you take cool. a step in, and you find yourself in a large chamber. Um, oh, there's a big silver dragon in this chamber. It just seems to watch everyone kind of come and go. And uh, then you lead out to the steps that lead down into Monte Plata, and it's this massive metropolis that is nestled between two mountains on the edge of a, on the edge of a coast. Monte Plata is the capital of the Protectorate, also known as the Duchy of Monte Plata. Um, and it is the pulsing heart of, um, of goodly civilization on Varos. It is, of course, the place that would fall if uh, the world wound was ever breached uh, and demons That would dead. never <clears throat> happen. No. No. But Monte Plata is not where the adventure occurs, as you will soon be, you and Eryxes, as crusaders of the Fourth Crusade, uh, will be stationed in the city of Valderos, which is right on the border of the world wound. And that's where we're going to go now uh, as we talk about... Um, Hadrian and what he's been up to. <clears throat> oh my god, I went a little crazy buying equipment while I was waiting for my turn to come around. <laughs> All right. Yo, Hadrian! Hadrian, uh, this particular mission and days started off as you going to one of the, the temples of the Inquisitors uh, where um, you're permitted to see the, um, the Inquisitor's map. Uh, there's a device that is used. F um, how intelligent is your character? Ah, <laughs> ten. Okay, so you're probably not the guy they get to use the map. We'll say that you no. have a um, you have uh, a acolyte inquisitor that follows you around. I need a name for him. Um, I actually have uh, employees that I have purchased out of the hireling stuff so we could just have one of them be the guy or they could be somebody else no no this is this is a mission the inquisitors are putting you okay. on a mission um albrick how about that okay albrick is a is a bright young fellow and he's typically used for this type of thing he's used for communication as well as memorizing from the map i'll add that to my um, contacts as well there is a device that basically you you touch you touch to the to the brow of um, uh, of the person you want to use the device, and this allows them to memorize with complete accuracy pages of in, of information. It's awesome. So nice. Um, at, and then you are you at the end of your I'll mission, you're brought go back to here to mm -hmm. then have the device used to take that information away. Awesome. The information that they consider very very vital is that um, inquisitors and priests have run censuses along the garrisons along the border to keep track okay. of where people and movements are. In mm -hmm. particular, you're, you're concerned with um, holy ground. Makes sense. Makes um, sense. Uh, people who are casters of various level uh, of various religions. And um, um, people who have... Uh, have contributed in various ways to the crusade. It's okay. basically like like this this strange magical in, intel of of the the large city. Now the intel is not always up to date. 
but with longer live races and with people that are property owners, um, usually it's good enough. Um, what he memorizes is, in particular, where the holy ground is in the in the vicinity of where you're going to be doing your operation. Okay. He also he also makes a note that huh, there's a. Uh, um, There's a sovereign persona grata within a few blocks of where we're going. A sovereign persona grata is a person that has been registered by the sovereigns as important. You usually leave these people alone. Um, okay. And they're important enough that their immediate abilities are not necessarily information and then like information that the inquisitors don't even get to know like they're they're, they're like special people okay uh, he just makes a note that huh um you know uh, several blocks away there's a there's a, a sovereign persona grata um and the nearest uh holy ground oh it looks like there's an old shrine to saint cuthbert the reason why you've been marshaled and like more than one inquisitor has been called to is that there is rumor um, and perhaps even evidence of uh, of a cultist den. Not individuals, not not like a couple, like actual den. <clears throat> so you and several other inqui inquisitors have been assigned a group of six crusaders. To go okay. in and, you know... Root out the heresy. To root out the heresy. Of course, knowing the neighborhood and the layout is just one thing. You need to actually now go in and figure out where these people are. Um, you do have a contact. It is somebody that... In the last 10 or 20 years the main inquisitor of the town um, became also the ruler of the town. Okay. His name is um, Prelate Hulrun Shapok. He's the Lord Inquisitor of Valderas. He's the second in the office of the Legatine Inquisition throughout the okay. entire protectorate. His ways back in his youth, he's human, um, were very, very strict... And we'll say that more than one witch is burned at the uh, by his command. He's since becoming prelate of uh, of Valderas, uh has softened slightly. He's still pretty stern. Give me a sense motive. Okay. In your few uh, in your few dealings with him. Eleven. Mm. You don't know why, um, but his uh, his approach is definitely softened. You think that it has to do with the viciousness of the Third Crusade and perhaps even admonishment by the sovereigns themselves. Hmm. Interesting. What is he? What's that? Is he human? Yeah. He's human. Yep. Okay. okay. He's he's, Just an like old, me. he's he's an old he's an old man though at this point. Okay. Um. Uh, and maybe becoming a leader, maybe an old man. You, you, you're not sure, but for whatever reason, his his strategies and tactics have become less uh, um, less aggressive, a little more hmm. lenient. Leniency is the first step to heresy. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Is, is that how your guy talks? Yes. Oh. With the evil laugh and everything? No. Okay. That was just me laughing. <laughs> your, uh, what do you mean? This was my lawful good chuckle. <laughs> 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 Boot stomp the chaotix. <laughs> stomp, stomp. I think okay. I'm going to add that as my... Uh, Um, 
it's been a while since there's actually been like cult activity. Um, the problems are more so a more subtle corruption, um, drug use, um, crime, dissidents, laziness. You've definitely seen the quality of crusaders. There's this concept now where there's low crusaders, people that take the oath but use it for their own gain. Sloth is a sin as any of the other seven. Um, crusaders do get a lot of um, uh, perks, like free room and board in certain places. Uh, okay. And there are those that take advantage of this and are a little, little better than mercenaries. Um, do we get to track those people down and... Yeah, for, them for, for heresy for those that are that are that truly are despicable you do track down but um, uh, the government turns a blind eye to a little bit of it because they right. do they do need soldiers who are ready to fight the demon host if things go bad <clears throat> the quality of crusaders has gone down Beggars. you talk yeah. to one How of your unfortunate. You, you talk to one of your contacts, and I think I put it on your character sheet. Uh, Hadrian. Uh, which one? Mm -hmm. um, Chief Scabby. Uh, Durant. Chief, Chief Inquisitor Durant Grinning Tusk is basically your boss, your immediate oh. boss. Uh, he's actually running this operation. It looks like you um, guys are going to simultaneously strike uh, half -orc? several. Uh, yeah, he's, he's a half orc. Um, yep. Um, you're going to simultaneously strike several known criminal dens because you suspect one of them is actually uh, not just um, uh, petty thiev uh, thievery larceny, but you think that they're more uh, ties with um, drug production and maybe even slavery. There, okay. have been, there have been a lot of missing people in the neighborhoods around where you're What where is you're the um, What is the official government position on slavery is it outlawed no you're in a lawful good nation man there's no slavery. okay <laughs> there there may be a degree of fines and indentured servitude to the state okay. as punishment but um no okay All men should be free to follow the rules exactly as they are written. Scabby, Scabby lives in this in this neighborhood. You've arrested him several times before, um, and um, you found that he's actually a really good um, informant. Okay. Uh, you you saved him from an inquisitor that seemed like he he got plucked out right out of the Third Inquisition. There's a young, uh, a young rival inquisitor. We need a name for him. Ooh, a rival inquisitor. Who, who, if given enough rope, and if people weren't looking, you're pretty sure he would rope up tieflings just by the look of them. This is not the way the Fourth Crusade is run. Hmm. Um, a name for him. sure we'll have to generate something uh, let's go Spanish <laughs> right <laughs> uh, hey Garfield uh, we are starting a side campaign um, this is uh, the same universe as legends and we'll be we'll be stealing a lot from the wrath of the righteous uh, AP from Pathfinder. It was game zero. Good, you're running it, which means you can watch. 
I, 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 I'm going to do my thing where I only borrow parts of it. Uh, they are in the first city at this point in time, and they're meeting each other. <clears throat> the, um... Yeah. Do we have a name? Um... Alejandro. It's not too bad, actually. Alejandro? Okay, so Alejandro is, um, yeah, he's, he's, he, somehow he's, he's an old Alejandro school. de Monte Plata, or something like that. Yeah, <laughs> Alejandro from Monte, from Silver Mountain. Uh, he, he comes from a aristocratic background. Um, Inquisitors aren't supposed to share their last names. Hmm. Um, in fact, you, you're supposed to just have your religious name, um, your first name, your given name, your god give your god's given name. Um, that way, sounding very familiar. <laughs> yeah, because because you've you've divorced yourself from family and have given yourself to the ideal. And um, the concept is, you don't want to give familial um, preference when mm. you're enacting the Inquisition. Uh, also. You don't want to have your family receive the wrath of those that you inquisit as retribution. Well, I'll make some changes to my character sheet then, given that information. Yeah, uh, Ulrich. Also, you were uh, you were Abbey born, so I don't even know if you'd even have a last name. You were an orphan. Sure. Um... But Alejandro's. Uh, um, or Ulrich could be the the name of the ab the the. Um, yeah, it, was, it might just be a pseudonym that he goes by. The abbotus that that raised you, um, <clears throat> Alejandro. You saved Scabby from Alejandro. Okay. Alejandro actually had a physical rope, and we're we're basically choking him in an alleyway with him and his thugs. Um, mm -hmm. Essentially, uh, um, you 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 saved Scabby from it, and he actually gave you some tips that led to um, uh, led to a promotion to full Inquisitor. Scabby lives in this area. Scabby has been reformed. Um, he's kind of a pathetic a pathetic creature. He seems to he doesn't mind dirt. He can eat. Ash, you've seen him eating horrible things before, and he just seems to be able to subsist on it. What a what a weirdo. Fair enough. But he's probably the the person to go talk to. All right, I'm going to gather up my um, followers who I pay to help me. Um, I've got, uh, you've got hirelings. <laughs> yeah, I've got hirelings. Uh, I've got two bodyguards, uh, Helmar and Cater. Uh, a porter, Jeffrey, Joffrey, who he carries around my stuff because I don't have to. <laughs> um, and a footman, uh, Gine, who is sort of like a. Where should I look? Oh, uh, under uh, it's uh, almost at the bottom of the page. I have a section for employees. Employees. <laughs> yeah, well, he, he's uh, got to okay, have people to, to so, take care of things. Um. Yeah, they can help out. Uh, we'll say that you've got a wagon where your command post is set up. Uh, there's still... This is still a, an Inquisition mission. Whereas you're kind of left to your own devices uh, a lot of the time to go off and do things. Um, yeah. Uh, this particular mission, your, your guys are a little bit removed because you've got... That's fine. Uh, you've got six Crusaders running around and a bunch of acolytes uh, that's fine I have to have somebody to take care of my personal library and all of my writing material and <laughs> sure. all of my various things that I have around um, somebody to carry around the thurible with the incense at all hours of the day and night um, cool you've got servants all right yeah like, right, I do like once you started accumulating wealth as an inquisitor you you started using I, it. I imagine it's probably a common thing as an Inquisitor is you hire people to take care of things for you. So sure. you have a lot, of, a lot of stuff going on. 
um, <clears throat> you get you get a wave from your bodyguards that they that they're um, that your wagon is here. Uh, you can add a stretcher to the wagon and a healer's kit. Okay. Uh, and then you've got a you've got a light wagon with a cool. draft horse. Basically, it's handy sometimes when things become very violent to have a wagon on hand. Yeah. Uh, and exactly. you get away from them that they're ready, but uh, 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 Grinning Tusk, you've got contacts in this area, don't you? That is correct. I have a tiefling who goes by the name of Scabby. 